Hey guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back if you're a returning viewer and or subscriber. I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. So today, I'm really excited because I am getting to review holiday scents. Now, usually, I'm not one that gets all over-exaggerated and excited about holidays, typically because I'm usually working. I usually don't get holidays off, but this year I actually do, so I get to spend time with my wife, and so it's going to be really great. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and jump into today's review, you guys. I have five holiday scents to go over. Let's jump into it. We're going to start off with the North Pole. I just want to show you guys, like, look at the graphics that he used. Like, Lee, I don't know, man. I think you're killing it with the graphics, bro. It kind of reminds me of, like, a 90s, you know, Christmas type, not cartoon, but, like, maybe, like, claymation type, you know, Rudolph, maybe, kind of thing. It's just, I really, really love the graphics of these. So let me let me know if you guys agree. Do you guys get reminded of like a 90s movie, you know, from like these graphics? Oh, I forgot to give you guys the scent profile. I'm sorry. So the scent profile is sugar plums, Christmas tree pine, elfish vanilla, frosty mint, and eucalyptus. So, again, I already smelled this, but I'm going to do it again just because I like it. Mm. 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 These scents, I'm telling you, these scents are absolutely phenomenal. I'm not usually one that gets excited about, like, any sort of, like, Christmas scent. It's just not usual for me, but these have me over the moon. So, the mint, the eucalyptus, and the vanilla in this, a little bit of that Christmas tree pine, but the ones I really, really pick up up front anyways is the mint, the eucalyptus, and the vanilla. The sugar plums maybe give a little bit of like that sweetness, you know, citrus kind of feel to it, but overall, the eucalyptus is very strong, and so is the mint. Those two combined are just kind of a refreshing and invigorating, you know, mm. I really, really love this. I love all of these scents. You're going to hear me just rant about these today, you guys. I'm, I'm absolutely elated with all five of these scents. I really like the way that Lee you know, picked the five holiday scents. He sent all of these to a whole bunch of reviewers and it was like a bracket style. And we all wrote down which ones, you know, we really enjoyed. And then we sent it to him and he kind of chose the, you know, top five that we all kind of, you know, collaborated on and, and told him like which ones we all really enjoyed. I think that was a great idea, Lee. The next up, Peppermint Bark. All right. So, scent profile of this is crushed candy canes, white chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate ganache, Tahitian vanilla. This thing is sweet. Oh. God, guys, if you like chocolate, I am telling you, to me, Peppermint Bark is the absolute correct name for this because you do get like that candy cane, you know, peppermint type of scent and then you get a lot of like the milk chocolate, the chocolate ganache. It's kind of like a... um like a dessert, like a peppermint chocolate dessert. It is so good. I absolutely love this scent. Oh. 
I really think that you should actually make these into like sensi burner type scents. I think they would fly off the shelf, man. Like, oh, so good. And that Tahitian vanilla really gives it like a creaminess to it also. And, and that's why I said it's kind of like a peppermint chocolate, you know, dessert. Because it has like a creamy chocolate peppermint scent feel to it. it it's just, it's so good. Oh, guys, peppermint bark. These are just off the chain. Love these scents. Next up, we're going to talk about the Nutcracker. So, we have balsam fir, cinnamon sticks, sandalwood, and Virginia cedar wood. Interesting, right? Give it a good shake. Hmm. I do pick up that sandalwood and that cedar wood. Interesting. That clove buds is, is there. The cinnamon sticks is there. It kind of reminds me of like what I would assume. Okay, I'm just assuming what maybe Santa's workshop might smell like. You know, you got the cinnamon sticks in the air, you know, it, it's just a holiday scent that is kind of floating around, but that cedar wood is maybe like the tables or something that the elves are all working on. That's just my own imagination. Um, the sandalwood, I, I really, really like this scent and it's really enjoyable. I, I'm really into it. But the balsam fir, I, I guess I'm not like 100% set on what balsam fir is really supposed to smell like. So really with the rest of them, I'm already kind of thinking what it might smell like. So I definitely get that woodiness of the cedar wood and the sandalwood. Absolutely. Clove bud and the cinnamon sticks are there. It gives it like that little spicy, but yet like not like a hot spicy kind of thing. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable, you guys. Moving on. We are talking about Bahumbeard. Look at that little dude. I think that's an awesome little caricature. So cool. So, scent profile of this is crotchety spearmint, broken candy canes, Grumpy Vanilla Bean, and Miser Confection Sugar. Mm. Crotchety Spearmint, huh? Ooh. Oh, that Spearmint is, it is really, really pungent. The candy canes give it like the peppermint with that spearmint like combination is, is very, you know, heavy right out of the bottle. The vanilla bean and the confection sugar give it that sweetness, you know, it, it, it's kind of like, uh, it's a very sweet peppermint type spearmint combination. Oh. Yeah, this is just epic. And in case you guys wanted to know the ingredients of this, it is apricot kernel oil, barrage oil, rosehip oil, meadow foam oil, fractionated coconut oil, essential and fragrance oils. I just, I'm over the moon about all of these. All right, so now we're going to talk about the very last one that I have. And this is probably the one that I wore out of these five the most. This is the gingerbread man. He's got that dope beard on there. Look at him, dude. Like, I'm almost jealous of that dude's beard. Yeah, buddy. All right. So the gingerbread man is oven fresh gingerbread, cinnamon sticks, brown sugar, melted butter, and vanilla icing. 
Oh my god. Oh. Guys. This is such a killer scent. In beard, out of the bottle. I wore this for probably three days and I wore some of the other ones for like two days, three days. Um, but this one really stuck out to me. And it lasted all day. I'm talking eight hours plus. If you like long lasting scent profile duration, all of these are very like long lasting scents. Um, this smells exactly like a gingerbread, you know, cookie or whatever you could imagine a gingerbread dessert would be. This smells epic. Epic. And I'm even going to give you a comparison as to how much I enjoyed this because I'm actually trying to get Lee to make this one after the holiday a mainline scent. And so as you guys know, I did a collaboration with Lee. This is my collaboration with Lee, okay? So, holiday scent, my collaboration. Right there. This thing, I don't know why, but I'm even putting this over my own collaboration. That has to be able to tell you something. This scent is just so good. I, I will absolutely put my, my heart, soul, and name right there on this one. Okay? I want you guys to try this. And you tell me if my opinion is absolutely correct or incorrect for that matter. If you guys really don't like this, I would love to hear your feedback on this. But if I'm right... I want to hear you guys telling me how great this scent is and the rest of the scents that I was talking about. But yeah, out of the five, by far my favorite was the Gingerbread Man. Absolutely epic, awesome, love it. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. I would love to hear from the other reviewers that uh, also had to, you know, check all of these out and, and give their feedback back to Lee. But yeah, I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Let me know if you guys have purchased these for the holiday. would love to hear that from you. Um, yeah, absolutely loved each scent, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button. It's literally right there and it's free. What are you waiting for? Also, hit that thumbs up button if you like my content. Hit that notification bell. Click it to all so that way you never miss an upload. And yeah, until next time, guys, I hope you all have a great day. I'll check you guys in the next video.